Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and sometimes I go by the name Plus2 and make games under the name of Plus2 Games. I'm currently working on a game project in Unreal Engine that I'm currently calling Barge, which is based on the gameplay of a game called Raft. I've been working on this project for almost a month now, and I wanted to make my first devlog at the one month mark to show the progress from the first month of development. However, that isn't going exactly according to plan, and I don't really have the game to a point where I was hoping to be able to show it off at. I don't know if you can hear my voice or not, but I am on the verge of getting really, really sick. My son was sick this past weekend, my wife got sick earlier this week, and it appears that I am next. I feel like being sick is going to prevent me from being able to record a devlog in a few days here, which was my original plan, so I'm going to quickly try to throw together a devlog now before my voice completely gives out. And on top of all of that, I'm holding my mic in my hand because I couldn't find my mic stand, so hopefully that isn't really noticeable in the audio. Sorry. Also, I just realized that I didn't get time to implement proper inventory icons, so now I have to explain why my tomatoes are purple and cucumbers are... Well, whatever that is. Basically, the icons I'm using are just placeholders that I took from a marketplace asset that I just happened to have when I started this project about a month ago. Some of the icons I needed were actually present in the pack, such as wheat, but most weren't, so I just used whatever I could rationalize in my head, and apparently that was purple tomatoes. I'll put that on the list of things to update for the next devlog. So my game, Barge, has the player building and managing a customizable river barge to farm and collect various resources that they then sell to small towns along the never-ending, procedurally generated river. Most of the mechanics that I want in the final version are present in the game currently, though not implemented exactly how I eventually want them to be. My initial focus on the first couple weeks was just getting the gameplay features working so I could at least see if the game was even fun, which I think it is. The last week and a half or so have been working on the first steps of refining those mechanics so that they work properly and optimizing the game so it runs well. I had most of a whole video planned out with witty jokes and creative commentary, but since I'm getting sick and need to rush this video, I'm just going to give a quick summary of the gameplay as it is currently. When the player first starts a game, they will spawn in on a barge consisting of a single platform and a few starter items in their inventory. This will consist of a few extra platforms they can add to their barge, as well as some starter piles of dirt. Uh, I mean, crop plots. That they can use to start growing their crops. I do have the basics of a crafting system implemented, so as the player collects more resources, they can craft new platforms to expand their barge and various other items to improve their barge. The farming mechanic is going to be one of the core mechanics of the game, so that was a system that is furthest along in development. Or at least it was, until I decided about two days ago to completely rewrite the entire system to use hierarchical instant static meshes instead of individual static message. M me meshes. This has greatly improved performance already, but since I didn't get enough time to finish rewriting every aspect of it, it's currently only working at the most basic level. When I was working on rewriting the farming system, I decided to also implement a quick and dirty creative mode so that I could more easily test the performance with larger barges. Larger barges. It's definitely a stretch to call this a creative mode at this point, as all it actually does is just not remove the item from the inventory when you use it, but it works now for what I need it to do now. To give a bit of a reference, with the original farming system, the frame rate would drop to about 8 frames a second as soon as I put more than 20 to 30 crop plots, which each have 9 plants on them on the barge. With the new system, I have been able to put down over 200 crop plots, with each still having 9 plants on them, and still keep the frame rate around 80 to 90 frames a second, which is pretty decent on my computer. Obviously, another main mechanic is the player building their barge. This mechanic, again, was working quite well until I decided to rewrite the entire thing a couple days ago to use hierarchical instant static meshes. But it is back to a functioning point as well. The player can craft new barge platforms and add them to the barge. There is currently no detection to see if the platform already exists where they are trying to place their platform, so you can get some weird disco floor patterns if you aren't too careful. But that will all improve with time, so we'll just enjoy it for now. 
I've also added a basic town system, which I have rewritten about four times already. And the current iteration is very limited, but I think it will be the final implementation. I just need to get some more work in on developing it further. These towns generate with shops in them that the player can buy and sell items from. This system is still implemented in a very basic way, so this will change at some point in the future, but it's adequate for now. Also, there is a procedurally generated world. This presented some really interesting challenges because I couldn't just create a procedural mesh using basic Perlin noise to vary the height. I needed to have an endless river cutting through the middle of whatever terrain is procedurally generated around it. And I would also like to have the river gradually expand in width as the player increases the size of their barge. But that part will come with later devlogs. I was able to get a system working to accomplish all these tasks to a certain degree, and I'm quite happy with the results so far. Currently, the forests around the river don't actually change their height based on the terrain, but they exist, and really that's all I can ask from them at this point. There's a lot more to the game that I planned on discussing in this first devlog, but I think that's about all I'm going to be able to get in before my voice completely gives out. If you have any questions, ideas, or just words of encouragement, please leave a comment below, like the video if you found it interesting at all, and subscribe if you would like to keep up on the development. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.